if you watch the inner african home series then you know the character jamal and you also know that african dad does not like jamal but i need you guys to understand that african dad did not always dislike jamal he actually really liked them so i thought it'd be the right time to show you guys how it came about that african dad disliked jamal so much it'll put everything into perspective so um take you guys back in time to when i was in high school check it out jamal's in the house <laughs> Yes, Dad, come here. I'm coming. Yes, Dad. Do you remember Uncle Peter's son that he brought to church last Sunday? Yeah. Okay, good. I have invited him here so you and him can be friends. Dad, he's fresh off the boat. What boat? He took Delta Airlines to come to America. He acts so weird. Shut your mouth. He's a good boy and he'll be a good influence on your life. Come in. The door is open. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Good evening, Uncle Owusu. What is this guy wearing? Good evening, Jamal. How are you? By God's grace, I'm doing very, very good. And how are you? Oh, by God's grace, I'm also great. Crawford, greet Jamal. What up, bro? Nothing much. What's up with you? I'm chilling. Please, have a seat. This is your home. Feel at home. You can come here any time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Would you like some water? Oh no, I am okay, thank you. Okay, so tell me, how's America treating you? Well, so far, so good. I like it a lot, but I haven't been able to go around because I'm always studying and I'm also going to church all the time with my father. You are doing good, you are doing wonderful. But remember, just because you left Ghana does not mean that you left Ghana. Never lose who you are. You are a Ghanaian, always remember where you came from because those that forget their past are present but do not have a future never lose your culture your respect your discipline and your home training if you can stay true to that and never forget who you are then you will succeed here in america yes uncle Wusu, i will stay true to myself i will never change but let me leave you two boys to mang out so you guys can become great friends uh, that come in what up uncle o and who is this one it's me j money j money listen whatever it is that you are selling we don't need it in this house uncle o it's your boy j mizzle what is this nonsense? I get it. You see, I understand. Because the amount of swag that just hits your house, it's hard for you to recognize that it's me. Jamal! Huh? Jamal! Kweku, is that you? Why are you dressed like that? Is it Halloween or something? And why is your voice so high? My voice matches my swag. Hey! Jamal, get out of my house. Uncle O, I just got here. That is also my point. You just got here to America less than a month ago. And look how you are acting. Just a week ago, you sat right there. I looked at you and I said, Jamal, don't lose who you are. Always remember where you came from. Now you are here telling me you are Jay Mazal. When your parents named you Jamal, who is managing you? Huh? You are confused. Does your parents know that you are lost? Wait, Uncle O. How can I be lost when I'm at your house? Yes, you found your way to this house, but you lost yourself on your way here. Uncle O! Hey, get out and return when you find yourself. All right, I can tell my presence is not appreciated here, so Jamal's out the house. Hey, one that shall never end. Crawford, what happened to him? Dad, I don't know, but Jamal is one of the coolest kids in my school now. What kind of nonsense are you speaking? This boy is cool because he acts like a fool. Your generation is doomed. But Crawford, listen to me and listen to me very clear. I no longer like this boy. I don't want you associating with him. Do you understand? Yes, Dad. Good. But I don't blame him. 
It's his parents' fault. Oh God. 